Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, we have a bit of a controversy. Today we are going to try a brand new, as seen on television, non-stick diamond. But I have some issues with it already. I haven't even used it yet. All I did with the infomercial was that they were taking jabs at my red copper. And now we're going to fight. Blue diamond, you ain't got to throw jabs. You just be you. Stay on your lane and uh, people might like you. Besides the copper pans working, the reason I love red copper over all the other copper pans is because I really like the combination of red and the copper together. I just think they look really, really nice. What I am going to give this new diamond pan, just by visually looking at it, this pan is beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to do so many things to it in this video that I'm going to cry because I do not want this pan to fail me because I want it in my collection. That's how beautiful it is. First, it is a beautiful navy blue color. The inside of it has a million little glittering, almost looks like the night sky. And so does the handle. Some people are not going to care about that. But if you want a beautiful pan, so far, this one is kicking copper's ass. These people really paid attention to the way this thing looks. I know what you're thinking. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Does it work? Is it non-stink? I get it. We're going to get to all that. But I'm just saying, if you saw it, you'd be like, damn. I mean, that's the first thing I said. I said, damn, look at that pan. This is pretty. This is sexy. Let's get to some of the claims in the infomercial. The infomercial says that this diamond pan has a coating that is five times stronger than any other pan. Or really, they're pointing at the copper pan. It also claims to last 10 times longer. I'm gonna test all that. Look at all the stuff I have in front of me. I have all kinds of things. I have eggs. I have my hand blend. I have my heat gun so we can check the temperature of the pan. I have my baby hammer. They actually took a hammer, but it was like a sledgehammer. I think that's what they're called. And they banged it and it did not ding. Sledgehammer, but it's so cute. I'm going to do it with this because I really don't want to ruin the pan. I want it to be part of my collection. So I'm going to hit it. I'm going to hit it good, but I'm not busting it with a sledgehammer now. Come on. I want it to live. I want to kill it today. I know this is weird, but I also have a heat gun. The reason I have the heat gun is because they use a blowtorch. I don't own a blowtorch yet. I'm going to buy one because it's fun. Kids, it's not fun. Adults, I'm in the infomercial that the handle stays cool. I'm going to call bull on it, but we're going to check. That's what I have my heat gun for. And I have my hand because if I touch it, my brain's gonna go hot, not cool. So that's the scientific way that I'm gonna try it because I'm a scientist too. They took sandpaper, sandpaper, and they sanded these mofos. They sanded a copper one and they sanded the blue diamond one. And of course the copper one was the one that was damaged. The blue diamond did not damage with the sandpaper. So I have sandpaper and I'm gonna cry because I don't wanna ruin this pan. So ooh, blue diamond people, that sandpaper and that hammer better not damage this thing because you told me I don't want to waste 20 bucks because I tried the shit that you told me in the infomercial and then busted up my pan. I don't come up with this craziness. You did. I just got to test it for my folks on the internet who are like me going bullshit. That does not work like that. I'm just saying. I'm the tester. So I'm going to test your shit. I'm not going to touch my copper pan. I love it. I have a 10 piece set. I'm not going to ruin it for this video. This is the guy that hopefully I don't ruin, but I might ruin. He's the sacrifice to the pan gods. So I'm going to put my little copper pan to the side. Don't touch it. Don't look at it. Let's put our focus on this beautiful, sexy pan, right? We love sexiness. But on the bottom, it has like this spider webby looking design that they say it helps it from warping. I've never had a pan that look at it. I just love, listen, what I will give them is all this, ugh, all this glitter action. You got points. The navy blue, you got points. And then the attention to detail. When your lover's making you some eggs in this beautiful diamond pan, you're going to feel like a diva or a rock star whatever you want to feel like. Before we get started, I'm going to need your help with one thing. 
in the infomercial, they say this thing is infused with diamonds. That is the reason it is called Blue Diamond. So can somebody real quick while I work over here, look to see what infused means? Because the infomercial looks like, that looks like this thing has little baby diamonds in there, like crushed up little diamonds. But I don't think so. This is $20 pan. If there was crushed up diamonds in here, this would be a $200 pan. They also claim because it is infused with diamonds that this thing is five times hotter because diamonds can take the heat. What? They're like sprinkling diamonds in here? It's in the coating? But I am gonna call bullshit on that too. So Google it for me. Somebody tell me what does infused with diamonds mean? What I think it means is like they rubbed it down with like some kind of diamond essence or something. That's what I'm thinking. Like they got a diamond and then they like rubbed it, gave it a nice massage with some diamond oil or something. I don't think there's diamonds in the actual pan coating. That's just my scientific observation and just thinking it through with some damn common sense. Stop everything, folks. Let me just read you some information that is on the packaging. We've added diamonds. Stop the Googling. You don't need to Google for me. I appreciate you trying to help me. Right here it says, in writing and in the infomercial, the sea diamonds, the hardest natural material on earth to create a super strong surface to cook with. Metal utensils have found their match. This pan doesn't scratch. D did I just wrap? Our pan will be your partner in the kitchen. Use after use, wash after wash. Damn, sell it hard, baby, sell it hard. Number two for this non-stick pan. Emphasis on non-stick. Always use a little oil or a little butter for better frying results. Non-stick pan, what you talking about? Make a note, when you buy this pan, you can no longer use your extra virgin olive oil. But we recommend you hand wash it. Then don't tell me is the dishwasher safe. Just say, we would like for you to hand wash it. Bonus, and this one is for my own satisfaction because a lot of you guys are gonna tell me this in the damn comments. Do not season the pan. This is a huge controversy on my channel. To season or not to season. I have never in my entire life, all the thousands of the gazillion products that I've tried, I've never seasoned a non-stick pan. It makes no damn sense to me. A year and a half later, all of my copper pans are still working beautifully. So don't you dare leave me that comment because I have it right there in writing. Now I'm burning my damn face off because I have my double burner here ready for both of my pans. We're gonna give them a second to start heating up. Then I'm gonna check to see if this guy is picking up more heat because of my diamonds than this guy. I bet they're the same. I don't think it's five times because I don't think there's diamonds in here. That's just my scientific opinion because you know what I am, motherfucking professional. Let's check the temperature. I don't know if you guys can see that. Now this one, and I'm clocking it and it's still at 333 degrees. This one was hotter first, I'm just saying. Ready? Looks like every other pan. Okay, the pan is at 337 degrees Fahrenheit. Just like in the infomercial. Carried away with the air skating that we were doing over here. Let me flip it. I'm gonna flip it like a pancake. Ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> Got him. Did you see those skills? Look at that. So it has passed our first test. My next egg test, which is just scrambled eggs, but I'm scrambling it with this guy. Oh, you better not scratch up my shit. And they probably made it navy blue, so you can't really tell there's a scratch, huh? I'm on to you. Your trickety tricks. Ready? I guess we just throw it in there. We're just scrambling now. That's enough torture. I can't. I'll go wash this and we'll check for scratches. There's not one freaking scratch 
not even a tiny one on this thing. I'm getting excited and I don't want to get excited because the hard stuff is still to come. So far, I have, I have not noticed the handle getting hot, but now that we're testing the sugar and I'm going to be using my pretend blowtorch, which is just a heat gun, the handle might get hot because this shit is going to get sizzling in a minute. So I'm going to do sugar, this corn syrup, been sitting out here all day. Let's help it along and use my heat gun. The handle is still cool, even though I got this sizzling hot. I'm actually really impressed, to be honest. I have a little glass bowl here that I'm gonna pour this into, just like they did in the infomercial, because I am the fucking infomercial now. Copper Pan, you might have some competition here. Girl, are you impressed? Copper Pan, there might be a new lover in town. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed with this. I'm gonna go try to see if I can wipe this caramel off without having to scrub it. Cleaning the caramel out of this thing was the easiest thing ever. As soon as I put some cool water on it, it just crystallized and I just wiped it right off. No scrubbing, no nothing. If you hate the copper pans, at the end of this video, I might be recommending you try this thing because we're halfway through our test and I might move my coppers out and bring in my sexy diamond pans. I don't know, I'm just saying. You're probably wondering who cooks marshmallows like that? Me, this is what I do. I always put marshmallows because marshmallows are super sticky. Once they soften up and cook in here for s'mores, I wanna see if I can just wipe down this pan. And look how fast these guys are melting. I hate to jump off the copper bandwagon, but I think I'm there. Come on, baby. They're coming along nicely. Why don't I toast up the front? Why don't I toast up the top for s'mores? Right. You should really be doing this outside in a campfire, but I'm a professional. I made s'mores in my kitchen with a heat gun. Who would have known? Don't do this. This is so dangerous. You shouldn't use a heat gun probably in your kitchen. Maybe. I mean, you probably can, but. Ooh, look at all that smoke. Oh, it burned for sure. Look at it. It literally peeled off. Oh. Look at that. It just peeled off like an egg. This sticky ass marshmallow. Copper pan, I'm literally giving you a 30 day notice to move the fuck out. I'm sorry. This, consider this your eviction notice. Part two of this test is gonna be to wash this off. Let's see how easy that is. Right now, after everything that I've seen and experienced and tested, I would buy the 10 piece set without hesitation. The last three things that we're gonna try could damage the pan, and this is where I might cry. So let's start with the plasticware. There they are. I know this is silly. I don't know why they do it in there. I'm trying to show you it's hot enough to melt plastic and it also will not stick. I don't know. It's silly, but they do it, so I gotta do it. You're not gonna out extra me. I'm the queen of extra. I gotta be extra all the time. That marshmallow was impressive, wasn't it? I can't get over it. Copper pan, you better innovate. Nobody's impressed with the copper thing anymore. We got diamonds in this one. I don't know if we have diamonds. I still don't know if that claim is accurate or if it was a little fluff for the commercial. I'm gonna buy the diamond thing because it's sparkling. <laughs> they got some glitter in here and I've, I'm convinced it's diamonds. It's probably not diamonds. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Scoop it up. Wiping off the plastic. Look, clean. <laughs> I love you. I'm gonna do the other two with the sandpaper and the hammer, but I'm sold. You got me. I'm not gonna do it really hard. I'm just gonna go like that, shh, real fast. No, I can already see scratches. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's it. That wasn't very hard, but let's see. Okay, nothing. I don't think I wiped away the scratches. I don't think that's possible, but. <sighs> okay, it survived. I'm gonna keep polishing it. Maybe I can get it back to 100%. 
the sandpaper and the hammer thing is stupid. Real stupid. Look at me polishing it. I just love it. Okay, I'm not going to hit it hard, so don't tell me, oh my god, you didn't even hit it hard. I think the idea of testing this was in case it gets banged up where you have all your pots and pans. This is stupid. Ready? One, two, three, go! I'm scared. Ready? One, two, three, go! That's it. I'm sorry. That's all I'm doing. That didn't do shit. That was a baby tap. I'll do it one more time with a napkin, a little harder. It's just too loud. Jedi's gonna come barking like a crazy person down the stairs. Ready? One, two, three, go! <laughs> you guys, my pan has survived. I can officially say that if you hate the copper pans, you should definitely try the blue diamond because I love it. I'm gonna give the blue diamond five Vivian heads. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool as seen on television product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.